We know the COVID-19 as a global public health crisis and now also as a major global socio-economic crisis. But let us be clear, COVID-19 has also triggered a major worldwide mobility crisis. International mobility has come to a virtual standstill and many countries continue to face closed borders, grounded airplanes and port closures. As states look at eventually removing internal restrictions and at carefully reopening their borders, they are confronted with similar challenges. How can we re-engage in global mobility while ensuring that there is only minimal acceptable risk? For IOM, one central challenge is what do we have to do to support member states to reopen their borders safely based on objective risk assessments? How can we help resuming international travel and cross-border mobility in a coordinated, responsible and fair manner that leaves no one behind? We are convinced that there will be no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to reopening of borders and the removal of travel restrictions. The world is large and realities on the ground greatly vary. Nevertheless, building on decades of on-the-ground experience working on the issue of human cross-border mobility, border management and migration and health, IOM firmly believes that an approach which is coordinated, evidence-based and aims at being inclusive to ensure that no one is left behind will be central. Such approach will require border management policies and practices that carefully and intelligently integrate health, human mobility, human rights and also trade considerations. It requires inter alia adapted, accessible and secure visa application processes, the physical adaptation of controls and interaction of migrants or travelers with immigration officials at points of entry, as well as an acceleration of the responsible use of new technology from touchless biometric solutions to adapting advanced passenger information, API, to integrate specific health parameters. At the policy level, promoting the much stronger integration of health concerns in integrated or coordinated border management approaches and practices will become a pressing priority. IOM is focusing its efforts on helping to elaborate and promoting such approaches in close collaboration with member states and partners. No state should be left behind. People from all parts of the world should have the opportunity to access safe, orderly and regular migration and cross-border mobility channels. The international community should help countries where genuine, justified health concerns cannot be properly addressed at the border and in the wider immigration process. IOM stands ready to develop and deliver this much-needed support around the world.